Hello everyone. I hope you're healthy, happy, and safe. Last week, I gave you three clues where I'd be reading a book from this week. The first clue was, it has two wheels. The second clue was, you have to wear a helmet when you ride on one. And the third clue was that you have to have a special license to ride one. If you guess that I'd be reading you a book from a motorcycle, then you would be correct. And the book I'm reading to you this week is called Ben Draws Trouble by Matt Davies. It's the author of Ben Rides On. I chose this location because motorcycles are one of the things that Ben really likes to draw. Ben Draws Trouble by Matt Davies. Ben Lucan loved to draw in art class. He loved to draw in writing class and also in math class. In fact, with a few pencil squiggles, he could make any classroom lesson just a teensy bit more interesting. But his teachers didn't always agree. Ben particularly enjoyed drawing bicycles, motorcycles, boats, sharks, whales, spaceships, dragons, monsters, pizza, cars, guinea pigs, dinosaurs, exotic reptiles, crows, and people. Ben was very good at drawing people. Maybe a little too good. One day, while Ben was riding home from school, the long way, of course, the unthinkable happened. Upon arriving home, Ben made himself a nutritious snack. Then, as always, he reached for his sketchbook, which appeared to have been misplaced. Meanwhile, Ben looked everywhere until the sun stopped cooperating and he went home empty handed. The next morning, Ben raced to school the short way. Perhaps he would find the sketchbook left safely inside his desk. As Ben quietly tried to slip away, he bumped into his teacher, Mr. Upright. Bonk who told him to find his seat. Then something that had been thoughtfully placed on his desk caught Mr. Upright's eye. Mr. Upright looked inside, lingered over a most interesting sketch of a tall man with a mustache, and then noticed the cover. After class, Mr. Upright led Ben toward the principal's office and straight past it. Then Mr. Upright asked if someone as talented as Ben would be willing to help him. Several months later on opening night, everyone at Watson Elementary agreed that Ben's drawings looked even better when they were 20 feet tall. I hope you liked that book. I loved it. One of the things I really love about the book is how Ben at first is a little bit nervous about what he's good at, but then his teacher discovers his hidden talent and puts it to good use. I also love this book because my son Henry was also famous for drawing pictures of teachers in school and just like Ben, and he was worried about it one time, but he didn't get into trouble. Next week, I'll be reading you another book from another location. Here are the clues where I'll be reading from next time. The first clue is they are on the playground. The second clue is they are made of metal. And the third clue is they're fun to hang from. Hope to see you next time. Bye.